so it's been officially one week since I've done the chemical peel and these are the results of the peel as you can see I still have acne marks I still have a little bit of discoloration I definitely was not expecting the peel to fix all my problems after one or two use this is something you gradually do over time and then you'll start to reap you know the benefits so um this is the brown spot here that I was really nervous about it did get a little clearer but not as clear as I wanted it to get but I am definitely working on clearing that up my skin texture I can say it does look much smoother and my skin did get you know much brighter so I really did enjoy using this peel I realized with the second peel it took a little longer to peel which I find it was a good thing because normally peels aren't supposed to start peeling the next day and the first time I did it it legit started to peel the next day so I knew something was wrong I did something wrong but this time around it peeled within three to four days around day five my skin basically completely um, peeled off all the dead skin that's supposed to come off my face and my face looked really really bright after doing this peel you're supposed to avoid exposure to sunlight to your skin what I did I purchased this sunscreen from Aveeno and it's supposed to be a moisturizing sunscreen with an FPF of 30 and it also says it's supposed to help even out your skin tone um, when I use this normally when you put on sunscreen on colored skin it would leave like a white cast on your skin this did not after you like massage it into your skin it basically fades so it won't make your skin look white and ashy so I really do like this so during day one to day two of my peel nothing much happened my skin felt really tight um you know on my forehead and around my cheeks and my nose and it looked like leather so it was really really tight around day three that's when it started to peel a bit around my nose my upper lip and right here and it really started to irritate me here like it would really itch and when that started to happen I would spray this on there to help with the irritation and this is the Garnier skin active balancing facial mist and this is green tea and basically they said this is supposed to help reduce shine and lightly hydrate the skin so I would spray this on my skin every time it like legit started to itch me but I would not suggest doing that especially if your skin is dirty or oily and I do have oily skin especially on my forehead and my nose and cheeks and I did start to see like some breakouts here so I would not suggest spraying this on your skin like you know throughout the day they said to do it but like your skin's dirty and you're putting this on your skin your skin's gonna break out so I only use two of the sheet masks, um, you know one the day of the peel and two days after the peel I will Definitely use these. I find these to be very moisturizing. I really do like them a lot. So overall, I really like this product. I find that it works. Um, but don't expect to do one peel and your skin just instantly everything clears up because it's not like a harsh peel so don't expect after one use your skin problems are supposed to fade away it will definitely brighten up your skin a lot and improve the texture but in terms of scarring and marks it won't work like after one use or two use you have to use this probably like six times or something in order to see like real results which I definitely will be doing um, because I do like how it works um, I definitely my skin texture to me it does look much smoother around day six day seven of my peel I started to do an aloe vera uh, mask um, basically using natural aloe vera gel from the aloe vera plant um, in the Caribbean they're very you know common you can find them legit anywhere said I would definitely try doing this mask because I see a lot of videos on YouTube and people raving about it and they said they've had success it's supposed to help with your complexion basically help with the texture make it look smoother make your skin softer and also help with discoloration so I'm definitely been doing that and to me I don't know if it's just me but 
I find that it did help to lighten up this a bit but I've only used it this is like night four that I'm gonna be using it and I do find when I wake up in the morning my skin it definitely feels softer so you want to apply this to clean skin so I've already basically cleansed my skin and this is the hydro fresh toner from L'Oreal it doesn't have any alcohol you know alcohol dries out your skin and that's not what you want you, you want supple skin how do you have supple skin you moisturize your skin you keep it hydrated so this is really nice and what I'm going to do right now I'm gonna show you guys how I apply the aloe vera gel to my face and what I do is I would only use it at night and I would leave it on overnight and when I wake up my skin feels so soft and I'm gonna be doing this for a month to see if it does help with my acne marks and my discoloration on my face now I'm gonna be back to show you guys how I apply this gel to my face so I have my aloe vera plant right here so when you use this you definitely want to refrigerate it so that it doesn't spoil um, you'll know when it starts to spoil because it will turn like a purplish brownish color so you definitely want to keep it refrigerated. Aloe vera is also supposed to help with inflammation of the skin. When you apply it to your skin when it just comes out of the fridge, it leaves like a nice cooling um, effect to your skin. I'm going to cut off this piece right here because it started to go bad here. So I'm just cutting off this piece here. You don't want to use any spoiled aloe vera gel on your face. Okay, so... What I do is first I just rub it onto my skin and I first apply it here to the area that I really want to freaking like lighten up, just lighten. <laughs> and after like when you rub it onto your skin and you realize you're not getting any juice, you can just squeeze into it and the juice will start to come out. So I just squeeze it. Oh! And there you go, gel get gel again so that's basically it how I apply it onto my face um, I just rub it on and you just let it dry in so before you go to sleep, you want to do this like, I guess, 20 minutes before you go to bed because you want to make sure that it dries into your skin before you go to sleep because I honestly, I don't like the scent and the smell of aloe vera, like the actual plant. I don't like to smell it at all, um, but after it dries into your skin and you wake up it's like it's not even on your face but trust me it is when you wake up in the morning you're gonna wash your face with lukewarm water um, to wash off any residue of the plant I will be doing this for a month straight and I will be back in a month to show you guys um, the results of using the plant I really hope I see some really good results especially with the discoloration on my skin I find it does help with you know hydrating your skin because my skin does when I wake up in the morning it does feel soft it does it really does so guys thanks again for watching this video I will be back again next week with another video and guys make sure to like and subscribe to my channel for more content bye